Hello everybody, Pyro Jack here, and welcome to uh, Bleach Brave Souls. Uh, this is going to be the first video of App on the weekends. So, uh, well, we're just going to do some events for the day in this game. For a while. Right now they're doing their Halloween uh, events. But it's cool that the game actually achieved um, their 17 million... 17 million downloads for this game. Well, base also, if you're about the colors, that means like a weapon, that's like a wheel of elements. Purple and orange counteract each other, red beats green, blue, green, okay, red beats green, green beats blue, blue, ble blue beats red. As you can see here, we have five teams. If you're wondering what those um, up there are, like my finger is touching right near. Those are soul tickets that allows you to play. Money isn't really used for anything except for these. Or experience boosters, but my character basically at max level here. You get multiple teams. And multiple characters and everything. And then you can actually take a friend along for the mission, so let's take... Fake Car Car Town Ichigo. Yeah, see, they're Halloween summons. Now, they mean by six-star evolvables, means that when they max everything out in five stars, you can make them evolve to a six-star. The game's free, um, it's a quite big game with updates, so I've been running some problems with trying to get other games on my phone with this game, but cool thing is that if you have a Google Play account, or Facebook or anything like that, you can data save it with that. And who cares about the plot? And so here's how you move. You understand the buttons is attack. That's how you dodge. And then you have heavier attacks because you have a cooldown limit. But you can also change to other characters. Um, really, it's a really fun game to play. Also, if you choose the wrong element, look up at the top right, top left screen next to my health bars. If you have a good element, against the weak against their counterpart that they're weak against that they're strong against like um for Ichigo here see how he has the orange next to his name his icon that means he's a focus type but then you also have purple for special red means attack green means uh stamina and blue means defense now these guys here as you saw once they guard then guard break, they will block your attack and take less damage unless you break through it, which doesn't take long if your kids are strong enough. So in this video we're going to do a couple of missions, um, then we're going to also summon one character and try to get a good character, because 25 spirit orbs for a summon. And, well, that's the problem. It's quite a bit, it takes quite a while, but if you do everything, like, don't use auto during some missions, take less than three minutes, and other things like that, you can get a total of four spirit orbs per mission. Now, as you see here, the Ichigo I summon does not have an affinity advantage, but the Ichigo I use does. So, as you can see, if I do this, this is their ultimate. You only get one at every start of the mission, but if you can break certain orbs, you can get more. And the mission's done. That spirit orb, but then, of course, you get... But if it's your first time being the mission, you get an extra one. So it means you get five per mission when that's your first time. You see here, I got crystals and gems. The multicolor one there is experience gems. Let's head back home real quickly. So I might do more videos on this when new events like pop up, but I would like your input. And then you see here that countdown means you have a minute. 
So let's head over to our uh, presents. These are get, these are things that we unlock. As you see, five spirit orbs. Collect all gifts. Now we gain five. Now I'm at 18, which means two missions will put me into 25. So let's go do two missions. Yeah, the game takes a while. Also, if you're not linked to the internet, you're gonna have a hard time playing this game. Um, I already got that four-star character. Doesn't matter how, how about we just do a story mission for a while? As you can see here, this is them ending up in the Soul Society, into where Good I 13 is located. They're breaking in, and since I'm using these characters, well, I usually use this team for these. Well, let's just use these for the sake of the video. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to collect more experienced crystals and everything and upgrade them all. I'll show you the uh, level scores. Another event going on again, him. Wait, why is his attack going out of the area? But now, remember, that's them fully maxed out. That's when you max out all their stats. At the start, they're pretty weak. They're all level 1, and that's not their stats at level 1. Alright, let's go. Okay, here we go. Anyway, how do you beat these guys? Well, if you can get them beforehand, but I was trying to click an attack, but when let me when register. You got the keto users. Okay. Here we go. But um, I've been kind of busy lately, and also for my videos, I might I'm gonna get a new 3DS soon, hopefully. Okay, so let's get rid of these guys. Now you can change it any time, but when you do, you have a slight cooldown, like a couple of seconds, not even a second, really. Let's go. Alright, here's the end of the level already. See, story missions aren't very long, but they can get pretty annoying. Here's Renji's. Yep. Now, don't want to use these heavy attacks, you're, cut, you're immune to damage. And just be careful though when you switch the characters, their um, heavies won't cool down while they're not in use. You have to actually be using that character to cool down their uh, heavies. And also don't play this game while driving, while being in cars and moving around outside. The game will lag on them, on you. So we're about to get... Um... We're about to be able to level up. We're about to go we're about to, be able to summon someone. Let's do another mission. Okay, so now it's gonna be red. That means all attack based. So let's go. Let's win by everything. I'm gonna take this too long because the Renji I have there is a ho it's a Halloween Renji. Uh huh. This is how they do loading screens. They're trying to like let you know about characters you can unlock. But don't even try. When you just get 25 Spirit Orbs, you have a chance to gain a two star. And the max you can get is a five star. I've been lucky with some rolls and gotten some five stars, and it's not that easy to have a really high chance of getting it. All right, let's go. Let's go, Renji. You see the difference in damage there, but he's lower leveled. So usually I jump around from character to character in this one. Now you can just hold down the attack, but I don't like that because then I might do more attacks than I need. Huh? So. Did not realize he was dead. So, 
in this game, it's basically just this. You're just going from mission to mission, doing things, defeating enemies. And not just sword, but you're also facing up, facing hollows. The game is fun, but there are some bugs to it every now and again. So just bear that in mind that it's a, it's a ga good game, but it's not a perfect game. But there's nothing called the perfect game ever. Aikaku. This is pronounce his name. Alright, let's uh, go. Yeah, that's basically it. Let's find a crate. Nope. Lucky dance. And but I'm not gonna say the story here. Oh, he's gone stronger. Again! Now he's blue. That means his friend can take him on. I think make him a four star actually. Oh, ow, ow, ow. So I wonder though, what... Here's a question for all of you. What is your favorite anime? That's all his ultimate is, just him constantly increasing his energy? Sometimes the game will do that and make you fight the same guy twice. But they'll go up in level. I wasn't anywhere near that. And you see, he's almost dead, so I had to swap him out around a lot. And now he's down. That's good. No more wasting the snow, no more skip, no more plot. No plot. Ah, pretty boy beat his friend. Okay, so now we have unlocked enough spirit orts to summon one character. One. One character is all we can summon. Let's go for a roll. Hope it's a good one. Alright, guys. You go to shop slash summon. And then you just click summer as you can see if you do 250, they get 250 which you can get pretty quickly in the beginning. This is a tutorial. You can get you can summon 10 times, which will give you a high chance of getting a four or a five star. But we don't have that, so let's go. Okay, let's see what we get here. Oh butterfly, come on, something good, please. Ah, it's probably not gonna be good. Yep. Already had him. Is it the exact same attribute as well? Yep, exact same character. Alright, well that's the first episode of Bleach Ray Souls. I hope you all enjoyed it. And I will see all of you guys in the next video. Bye!